Our video continues in Pontefract, South Yorkshire, with the lofts of Brian Claiborne. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Keith. Welcome to Ackworth. Lovely uh, morning again, mate. Beautiful, yes. Yeah. Beautiful. For February, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Are you pairing up soon? <laughs> We've paired up. <coughs> We've paired up in stages. Uh, mm. The first uh, youngsters hatched on Friday. Um, we uh, the situation is with race pigeon. We have we race 72 with rook cocks, which for a lot of people think that's horrendous. But uh, when you're flying in two federations and classics and yeah. middle and national and things, you need a lot of pigeons. Yeah. Um, How long have you been in the sport then? Uh, started racing in 1969, but I've messed about with pigeons since I was seven years old. Yeah. What's the circumstance you're starting up in? I don't know. I, I messed about for five or six years before helping lads in, in village um, who were a bit older than me and then I thought well I'll start on my own and uh, sort of escalate it from there. Yeah. What's one or two of your best performances? I don't know. Um, one that sticks in my mind was back in 1980 when we won the first cattle race. Uh, there was 28,000 pigeons in it we won it with 12 yard a minute from Nance. Yeah. Uh, that one sticks in my mind. Um, the the one this year, th this year, Young Birds this year, I think, personally, I say it myself, it was a great performance when we got six out in Midland National yeah. at Thornes. Uh, it got best pigeon into Yorkshire, first pigeon into Yorkshire anyway. The five pigeons that beat it were flying, uh, I think, about 43 or 40, 44 mile less or yeah. in that area. I think the nearest to it were about 23 mile less, uh, all into east and to a north Northwest wind, so uh, I thought it was a fair pigeon. Yeah, good performance. How yeah. about federation wise? Well, federation wise, I've been top prize winner uh, 11 times in federations. Yeah. Uh, every, I've been top prize winner every federation I've flown in. I've uh, been top prize winner in Big Barnsley Fed, top prize winner in Durning District Fed, top prize winner in Emsworth Fed, which is now defunct. Yeah. Top prize winner in Normington Fed seven times. Um, what do you prefer, the Federation or the Midlands National? Um, I, I, <coughs> I think at this moment in time I used to be sprint crazy, um, but I, th I think club racing's about going down pan. Personally. Yeah, it's had it, yeah. Um, now I think we've got a Federation and, and uh, Classic and National race now. This is a wonderful looking cop. Brian, what's this one? Well, there's a good pigeon, I call him Superstar. He's a Sujin Van Loon, a direct son of me, Red Ringcock. Um, he's won almost £2,600 up to now. He had eight races as a young bird, three firsts, two seconds, three thirds, two the thirds in Whitley Bridge Toolbird Club. He won Whitley Bridge Toolbird Club from the coast as a yearling by 11 yards a minute. This time he's been to Lefort Bernard three times and had prizes uh, with the Midland National. He, he had almost £300 in the Midland National and went back to Lefort Bernard three weeks later in the Fed and had first club ninth Fed. He's a widowed cock, is he? He's a widowed cock, yeah. yeah. He, as a young bird, he flew, he flew to a baby uh, for uh, f five weeks. Well, to three babies, because I kept killing him to keep him going. So you race widowed then, Brian. Can you tell us about your system? Um, yeah, we raced widowed. We started racing widowed in 1975. Um, we paired up with the widowed cocks um, on, on the round about the 23rd of January. I don't know why that is, but that's sort of a magical yeah, yeah. date. Um, but a pair of the F6 compartments are 12 with root cocks, and these are paired up every 10 days. The reason for this is because I have uh, some super breeding cocks that I put uh, N in with, uh, get a pair of eggs, and that pair of eggs are then transferred to the with root cocks. I then put another N in with the stock pigeon, and the next compartment of with root cocks is paired up. I don't breed after many of the widow cocks, I do breed after some, but not them all. Um, invariably, they're not all paired to hens that I'd like them for breeding. No. Some, are, some aren't. As long as they're happy with the hen. That's right, yeah. <coughs> because they're racing pigeons uh, and not breeding pigeons in the racing loft. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're in a situation where we've plenty of space and we can do things yeah. that other people probably in a, in a smaller garden and things can't do. Yeah. How do you put them on the system then? Um, I just put the. I used to, uh, in, in before the darkness system, I've been messing about with the darkness system for about seven years now. Before the darkness system, I used to put the young cocks in after after the last young bird race and pair them to older ends to settle them to the box yeah. while while the other cocks 
uh, were paired and sitting eggs. But now, through the darkness, I don't like moving the darkness youngsters until I get them through the mould. Yeah. So I pair them, <coughs> I just put them in the widow loft in a box with an hen. Yeah. And, uh, and, and take it from there. Yeah, do you take the hens away after the first round of youngsters? I take, <coughs> I take the hens away. I, I let me widow up cocks if there's two in a nest. Rear, uh, rear them till they're about 14 days old. Yeah. And then I'd move what, one youngster in the hen into the unbird loft and let the cock finish the other youngster off. If there's only one youngster in the nest, I just take the hen away and let the cock finish the youngster off. Yeah. So they don't go through the cycle of laying to the, to the second yeah. uh, round of eggs. How about training? I then repair the widow-up cocks um, round about the third week in March and then get them on eggs and I, I train them uh, in this system, providing the weather is okay. This year, that's going to be altered. I'm going to pair them later. They'll not be paired till April because, as I've said earlier on, club racing now has gone out, out of my head. Yeah. Um, they'll be paired later. They'll not go to the third or fourth club race, won't they, with Rook Cox? Yeah. We'll club race with uh, with 11 ends yeah. uh, for the first races. How far do the Woodward Cox race in? Woodward Cox race up to 500 miles. Yeah. Do you repair them when they get to that stage? Sometimes, sometimes no. It depends on how I feel the cop. Yeah. The, the cock is. Um, I've got two gut cocks this year that flew 500 miles twice in a fortnight and got gut fed positions. One <coughs> one got second fed at Borges in the big Barnsley fed and uh, two weeks later went to Nayart which is 512 miles and got eighth dame fed. Yeah. The other one got 26th at Borges in the Barnsley fed and got fourth in the dame fed at Nayart. So How about feeding? Do you break down? A uh, breakdown, um, I think it's a, it's a wrong word, breakdown. In, in my method, I, I don't starve the pigeons as some people tend to talk about breakdown. They have as much as they want straight after the race and right through it, it's just what I give them. Yeah. I tend to feed depurative uh, after the race and then on the Monday I give them uh, super diet of Marimans. It's People probably don't know Marimans car much but um, it's same as day at 2000 of Bosmolan. Yeah. Uh, they're given that on a Monday. Then on a, a Tuesday, um, I, I, I mix that with the with the Widerup corn. And yeah. then on a Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, I, gi I give them the Widerup mix. To show the hen on Fridays. Yeah, in all different shapes and forms. Yeah. <laughs> Brian has two Widerup lofts, which are 24 by 10. They have three sections and the pigeons are trapped through open windows. He has two young bird lofts. And they have Sputnik traps. This is the scene inside one of Brian's Widowwood sections. This is a nice looking pigeon. Brian, what's this one? This is the pigeon I was telling you earlier about. It got six out Midland National from Thorness uh, in 1998. He's lively, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He went back following week to Buckingham and got first club seventh fed. And a week later, he went back to the coast, 200 miles, and got second club beat by a loft mate, mate, eighth fed. What firm is he? He's a pure soldier. And of course, he's a Woodward. Well, he will be on Woodward. This year is a. Is a the yelling cock.